volume and temperature. Today we're aiming to investigate the relationship between volume and temperature for a fixed mass of gas at a constant pressure. To do this, we have a section of trapped gas mounted onto a rudder, with which we can measure the length in millimetres of the section of gas when at different temperatures. The gas is inside the tube on the left, where it is trapped between the bottom of the glass rod and a plug which is free to move as the trapped gas expands freely. We can measure the degree to which it expands using the millimetre scale it is mounted on. Might be hard to see on camera, but the little plug is here. So whenever the gas underneath it expands, this rises up and we can measure using our ruler scale for the degree to which it expands. With this free expansion, we can keep the pressure of the trapped gas constant, so we can further analyse the relationship between volume and temperature. To measure the different temperatures, we mount a thermometer alongside it. To facilitate the changing temperatures, we submerge the trapped gas and thermometer into a water bath, which we can heat with an electric heater. To ensure accurate results, we will stir the water over the period of heating to ensure an even temperature throughout. We will also submerge all of the trapped gas segment into the water, and we will ensure the temperature change is relatively slow to ensure the gas is at the te same temperature as the water. So we've left the trapped gas in the water to allow for its temperature to equal that of the water. So initially, before we start to heat the water, we have a temperature of 25 degrees and a length of 2.4 millimetres. So now we will turn on the electric heater and heat the water bath. So we make sure to stir the water so that the temperature is even throughout. So I will present my results on a table of results for you to view. So here is our table of results. And we can take the length of trapped gas to be the volume because the volume of a cylinder is V equals pi r squared h. Because the radius was the same for all of them and it's constant, V is therefore proportional to h, where h is the length of trapped gas.